Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I mount the resin letters that I've made. Now if you follow me on my other channel, Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts, which is a resin channel, then you'll know that I made these letters and I said that I was going to mount them up on a piece of board and I am going to be doing that but what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some battery operated lights underneath them to illuminate them. All I've got here is a piece of ply board that I'm going to use to turn this into a box to mount these on. But before I do that, I felt that these were really, really pretty, but they needed something else as I was gonna light them up. So what I've done is, as you can see here, and I think this really shows them off much nicer, is I've painted the backs of these with just ordinary acrylic paint. And I will seal that with a coat of varnish as well. You could seal it with UV resin or you could seal it with normal resin if you wanted to, but it'll be quicker for me to, to seal that acrylic paint with some varnish. And that way it will protect it from rubbing off and scratching off. Because if not, it does, as you can see there, it will scratch off really easily from resin. I'm not sure if you've worked out what the name is or what I'm gonna be spelling out here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paint these up. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below. And great news is, if you've not already heard on my other videos, I now have links for Australia and Canada, as well as the USA and the UK. And I've also become an influencer on Amazon now for the UK and America. So I now have like a storefront where I can put lots of different things on. And the link for that, if you wanna have a look, is in the description below. While the letters are actually drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my bit ready for making the little box. Now I've got this little table saw. I've used this so much on so many different projects and the great thing about it, it's not expensive, but it's really, really powerful. So I'm gonna turn that on. Now always be careful as well when you're using power saw because the last thing you wanna do is cut yourself. I've cut all my bits up now and I'm ready to glue them in and all I'm going to be using is some wood glue and some clamps. Leave it for a few hours and then that will sit there and won't go anywhere. That will be glued solid on there. And if you haven't got clamps, then you can use sellotape and that will hold it down. Clamps are better. Line that up nicely and then clamp that down. Well, I've got this all glued up now and I'll just wait for that to dry. I'm just gonna put it somewhere out of the way so I don't keep knocking into it. This should be all nice and dry now. Yep, and that's all nice and rigid now. That's not going to go anywhere. And the great thing is the little box will fit in there. Well, when I put the light through, so that it can come out easily if you want to change the battery or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down now everywhere, give it a really good sanding, and then I'm going to drill the little holes for the lights to come through. Well, that's all nicely sanded now and everything's lovely and smooth. So all I need to do now is make a decision on where I'm going to put the letters. So that's what it actually says. It says crafting. And I want them to be fairly central and I'm not going to measure this up. I'm gonna do it by eye because there you go, that's me. And if you haven't seen how I made this, then pop along to my other channel. I will link it in the description and put the card to it at the end here as well so that you can see how I made the letters. They were really nice and easy to make. So I'm going to put the lights in here. Now these string of lights unfortunately only come with 10 bowls on them and I need 11 for this. So one of these is not going to get two bulbs and it's going to be the N is not gonna get two bulbs. It's only gonna get one. So I know the bulbs now want to go into there. So what I'm going to do is draw a center line, then draw across and that's where I'm going to drill my holes. I'll show you in a second what I mean. There we go. So I've marked up now where I need to drill my holes so that when I pop the lights in from underneath and then glue these onto the top, that the light is going to come through them. And all I'm going to use is just a normal drill bit to drill these through. And then I'll show you how I'm going to attach the lights. All my holes are drilled now, and I've also done a little trench in the bottom there, and I did it all with my Dremel as well. Well, I, made, I did the bigger holes with my normal drill, but I did the trench with 
a Dremel and just a, a carving bit to put the wires in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint it with the fancy black from Arteza, which is a iridescent black. And then I'm going to go over it with the gold and blue green color shift because I want it to be quite sparkly. So that's all nice and dry now and it's come out nice and sparkly now as you can see. I do love those dragonfly blazes. Now I haven't done dragonfly the inside because there's no real need to but I have painted the inside. All it needs now is for me to attach the lights and I'm going to do that using some hot glue and then I'm going to attach these and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm ready to put the lights in. I've already put some of them in and all I'm doing is here is I'm just bending these back and these, the, thankfully these bend back nice and easily, lining them up over the holes that I've drilled and then gluing them in with some hot glue and holding it down while the glue dries. And then once that's done, I'm just popping them in. And this is why I drew, drilled the little trench to get them towards the top a little bit more and to be able to put the glue in. Not that it's gonna be seen anyway. And then I'll just go along the line and I'll just pop all these in, in each of the holes, ready. So this is all now nice and dry. And as you can see, it's all glued in there and it's easy to be able to turn it on. And I can change the batteries if I want by just lifting that up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these down. And what I'm going to be using for that is E6000. I think E6000 works really well for this sort of thing. It'll glue down nice and hard and will also dry clear. So all I'm going to do is just pop a bit onto the bottom of each one of the pieces and then glue it on like that. So it's over the top of the light. And then carry on around until all of them are glued on. And then I'll leave this probably for three or four hours, if not a little bit more, before I do anything with it. And you know, this isn't a toy, so it is just a sign. So it's not going to be handled a lot and messed around with, which is really important. It's going to sit on a shelf or wherever you're going to sit it at a craft fair or somewhere like that to advertise your stuff. So this will be absolutely fine glued down like this once it's all nice and cured. So I'll come back to this now once it's all nicely dry and the glue's all dry and everything that the letters are stuck down with and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what it looks like all nicely lit up. Well this is all finished now, it's all nice and dry and everything's all set up on there which is not going to go anywhere, the glue's all nice and solid. So all I need to do now is to turn that on and as you can see the lights are shining through it. Now it's not actually going to light up in here because I've got all my studio lights on but I'll just quickly turn them off. I mean, it's it's still going to, the camera's still going to want to try to bring in as much light as possible, but let's see. That's the crafting. It is nicely lit up and I think it has come out really well. Definitely painting the back of it was the right move as well because I think that gives it some really great, almost, well, it does make it look very dimensional, I think, and that's the word I was looking for. The box was so easy to make that I'm going to make quite a few more of these different boxes and things for different projects that I've been doing. I hope you've liked that. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this project. It really does help my video to get out there and it really does help to spread the word. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Check out the video that's coming up next. I will link the one where I made these. So if you've not already seen it, then you can see how I made these letters and it was really quite easy to make. Links to everything, including links for the USA, Canada, the UK and Australia can be found in the description below. All you need to do if you're on a computer is just click the show more button or if you're on a tablet or a phone, the little down button arrow and then you'll come into the description. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, just to say thank you and help support this channel because this channel currently isn't monetized so everything is still quite costly for me, then the link for that is in the description below. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.